Well, who better to help us celebrate the great flavors of Tennessee than the folks from Puckett's with hometown restaurants all around our area. Billy Hearn from Puckett's Fifth and Church downtown is here with one of their signature recipes. We're making peach glazed pork chops today. That sounds delicious. Welcome to Talk of the Town. Great to have you. Thanks. Good to be on. Okay, so this is one of uh, my favorites over at Puckett's, and I think a lot of folks love this. How do we make it? All right, so we're going to start with a brine. So okay. the brine's going to help uh, add some more flavor to the pork and keep it nice and moist while we're grilling it later. That's something I've never done before with pork chops, but it sounds like a good thing to do. Yeah, yeah do a turkey or other things too. Yeah, so it's yeah. just to keep it moist. Okay, yeah. good. So how do we start? All right, so we'll start with some water. All right. About a quarter water in there. I guess you need to plan ahead when you're brining something. So. Yeah, so you're going to want a few hours. Uh, we recommend at least six hours just to get it going, but you don't want to go more than like 12 to 24 hours because okay. it'll get a little too salty on you. All right. Speaking of, the next two. Okay. Salt and sugar. Okay. We're going to make sure this dissolves pretty well. We also have some pepper and some bay leaf. So basically what we're going to do is soak the pork, oh sorry, splash <laughs> We're going to soak the pork chops in this and it will absorb all of the flavors as yes. well as uh, kind of the moisture, right? Correct. So you're going to add a little bit of onion and orange. So that's going to be that last little bit of flavor extra pop in that pork chop. Okay. Going to bring out the natural pork flavor. All right, good. So that's your simple brine. You'll just go ahead and add that. Um, you can heat it up to help the sugars dissolve, and mm -hmm. if you do that, you want to add some ice to that mix so that you're okay. not putting pork that you're going to let sit for a while in hot brine. That makes sense. All right. And then uh, we'll refrigerate that while it's brining, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay, good. So, like I said, about six hours is perfect on those, and then they're ready for the grill. You've got some great pork chops here. So we use a 12-ounce pork chop with a uh, French bone. Um, you can see that. It's called lollipop. Oh. Pretty. Ends up looking great. Uh, so these have already been brined. And uh, if you're doing this at home, you can also go ahead and do this on the backyard grill. Uh, we're going to use a grill pan here, though. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Now, if a chop is that thick, how long do you let it cook? You're going to want to do about five to six minutes a side on there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you could do medium well, you could do well, however you want on there. But it's going to take a little bit to cook through. So you got to watch and make sure it's not too hot when you sear it. Uh, and then let it calm down a little bit at the end and rest for about two more minutes. Yeah. All right, we're going to make a peach glaze now, which is, uh, I think, going to be the best part of this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So, you know, it's a nice summer flavor. you got mm -hmm. your Georgia peaches coming in right now. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we uh, have a peach here that uh, is a canned peach with syrup. So you can make this all year long. Um, yeah. So, you know, they're picked at the, ripe, at the perfect ripeness, so we use that. Uh, but you could also use fresh and uh, grill them also at home if you That'd wanted be nice. to. nice. Yeah. So we'll start with that with the syrup also. Okay. Just to kind of help thicken it up a little bit. Okay. And then got a little brown sugar. Bring out some of that flavor. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> Uh, we have salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. Okay. And we're going to add a little color in there, too? Correct. So we're going to add a little diced red bell pepper. That's going to bring a little bit more flavor out. And like you said, nice pop of color. Yeah. And last but not least, for the freshness, you want a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now how long are you going to let this cook down? Uh, generally about 15 minutes. So you'll want to bring it up to a boil and then uh, let it simmer. Uh, those peaches are going to start to break down a little bit, and uh, the brown sugar is going to caramelize a little bit. Looks great. When it's all finished and the pork chop's all done, it looks like this over here. And you serve it with your uh, smashed sweet potatoes. Yes, and, and our flat iron potatoes. green beans. Oh, that looks so good. Now, you can go into Puckett's and get that, but you could also have it delivered to your home. Yep. Uh, anytime, home or restaurant or uh, business, um, you can have that or delivered by order up. So you can just go on our website, and there's a link on the home page there. That's pretty um, cool. And then we're also going to be featuring our hot chicken next week nice. uh, as part of their hot chicken month special. Yeah, and of course, always the fabulous barbecue over there at Puckett's. Uh, so many good things on the menu. Thanks so much, Billy. Thank this you, looks really great. You're going to find this recipe online in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. Order this dish at Puckett's or have it delivered from orderup.com.